Morning everybody, Claire here from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I'm going to do another iris painting. I just, I can't help myself. I love my iris paintings, um, but it's gonna be different as usual. Um, it's going to be more of a sun effect this time, maybe more of an eclipse of the sun. Um, so it's gonna be my iris technique. It's going to be a swipe and it's gonna be a swipe with silicon. Um, but the colours are going to be reds, golds, yellows, so really, really warm, rich colours. I've done a lot of paintings recently with blues, purples and pinks, um, so I really need to try and keep steer away from those for a little while. So reds, golds, yellows, um, black base and a white swipe. Um, so let me show you the colours. So here are my colours. Um, the base colour I'm using um, is Royal and Langnickel um, Mars Black. I'm using um, two Montmartre colours. I'm using white and gold. I'm using two Pepio Studio Acrylics colours, um, the Iridescent Gold and the Iridescent Orange Yellow. Um, and then some three more De La Rowney colours. Um, I'm going to add a hint of Fluorescent Orange, I think. Um, it's a bit of a daring colour to add with this combination, but I, I, I think I'm going to, that's the plan. Um, and then cadmium yellow deep hue and cadmium red hue. Um, in all of the paints, um, except the white and the black, um, I've added two drops of spot on treadmill silicone. Um, and they have all been mixed, my paints, 50-50 pouring medium and paint. And the pouring medium um, is a mixture of PVA glue and water. Mixed two parts PVA glue and one part water. Um, so let me show you the consistency. Um, the yellow, um, I didn't have to add any extra water. So this is exactly 50-50 pouring medium and paint. Um, the iridescent colours, um, for example the gold, I had to add some extra water um, because it's so much thicker and it's, it's still reasonably thick there. Um, the gold, the pale, the pebio gold, um, I actually um, thinned this down with some pre-mixed white um, uh, paint. Um, so it's actually a bit thinner anyway, but that just shows you, I think, the consistency. So you've got the mound on a mound and then it just leaves a little trail. Um, so that's what I'm using. So let's get started. So the canvas I'm using is a square 50 by 50 centimeter. Um, I've used the really big push pins um, in the back of the canvas, put four of those in. Um, and then I've just checked with my level, my spirit level to check that the canvas is completely flat and completely level, um, which it is. Um, I've drawn, I don't know if you can see this on the camera actually, I, I've drawn a circle here. Um, I've got a, um, a big dining room plate and I, I measured the edges here to make sure it's in the centre, um, e e even each side. And I put the plate on and I've just drew round it. So that is going to be, that's going to be my eclipse, That's or my pupil if it was an iris. Um, and then I'm going to have, um, I'm going to do bands of colour and then I'm going to swipe outwards. Um, I'd like black here and I'd like black around the edge. So um, slightly differently this time, I'm going to put my bands of colour and then I'm going to do bands of black. So I'm going to put the colours on first this time. So it's, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, what I'd quite like to do is start with the, um, the more intense colours, so the reds. And I'd like it to get a little bit paler. Um, because I think that probably is how the sun would be. So it would be hot, obviously hottest nearer the sun. Um, so I'm going to go for the deeper colours, the reds, and then fade into the oranges and then fade into the, the yellow. Right, so I'm going to start, I'm not going to start with the black this time, I'm going to start with the red. Now I'm just contemplating doing another band of those three colours before moving on to the lighter colours. I think I might, because then if I did another colour that would come to here, I'm going to, yeah. Oh, 
Well, so the reason I've left these gaps in between at the moment is I don't know if you can see, but the, the colours I put down are naturally just spreading. Um, I'm not going to tilt this to um, thin it out, so I don't I don't want there to be too much paint. So I'm just hoping that this it will it's just naturally going to to spread out and cover the canvas. Where it doesn't, I will um, touch it to um, to get it to join, but so that there's no bald spots. So same again, I'm going to do another layer of those three colours, but maybe a slightly thinner layer of each. Right, I'm slightly worried this isn't enough paint. So what I might have decided to do is do a third band of the gold, yellow and pale gold. So it's going to come out here. And then I'm going to put some of the red, orange and fluorescent orange gently over the top of the first section of the golden yellows. Um, so, it, so it blends more. Um, so let's, let's go again. I just want enough colour over the canvas that so that the black doesn't totally dominate Right, I said I wasn't going to tilt this, but I'm going to tilt it just slightly, just to um, try and fill in some of those um, bald parts of bits of canvas. So it's going to keep its rings, but I'm just, it just will even it out a little bit. I'm just um, sorting out the edges because I want to make sure that the, these colours drip nicely um, over the edge there. Um, I'm going to just put some black around here now. Right, I think I'm finally ready to start swiping. Um, I'm going to swipe with white. I'm going to leave my pupil uh, or my eclipse at the moment. Um, so I've got some white here. I've thinned it down quite a bit. It's nice to have a good thin swipe colour. Um, and the way I quite like doing my swipes is just to put a little bit on my um, work surface. I'm going to get some kitchen roll. And then... Can you see this yet? And then I'm just dipping the end of the kitchen roll in the white. So the end has just got um, a little layer of the white on there. And then I'm going to put it on the edge of the red. I'm going to make sure that it is all touching. And then just very, very slowly um, move the kitchen roll over the paint so I'm swiping outwards. And then I'm going to try and just swipe over the edge. Great. 
So quite happy with that so far because I've got the black. I wanted to, I didn't want too much black, but I wanted black at the edges. Right, what I'm going to do next, um, I don't really want to keep swiping over these central bits. So I think what I'm going to do next, I've cut some little um, bits of kitchen roll with um, a point to them. So I think what I would do is put the white on in the same way, but then swipe out like that. Right, and now I'm going to swipe with some even smaller pieces, um, again with a point on them. So I can start to get these bits in between. The reason I'm doing this is I'm just trying to avoid keep swiping over the same bits again and again and again. Right, I've finished swiping with the paper towel. What I'm now going to do is swipe with a little piece of plastic with um, a point on the end, because I just want to just even out a little bit of the white. Um, but I'm not adding any more white in this time, I'm just drawing some of the white that's already there through the painting.
Right, I have finally finished swiping. Um, what I find so funny about um, these sorts of paintings is I have spent so long getting it to look like this, getting it to this point. However, I'm now about to torch and it is going to change completely. So I've been really particular about how I've, how I've done things and to get it looking in, in my mind just right. But now I'm about to totally, totally change it. Um, with the uh, blowtorch. So I'm going to torch it. Um, I'm going to try and take my time so I can decide on, on cells. I'm going to try, um, instead of just going for it and torching everywhere really close, I'm just going to start up quite high and just see what happens and, and just, yeah, just go reasonably slowly. So up high, nothing much is happening. So I'm getting lower already. Since turning the camera off, I just um, filled in the black section, the black pupil or the, the eclipse. Um, I did a tiny bit more um, torching, but not much. Um, let me take you in for a close up. Um, I've got mixed feelings at the moment about this. Um, I do really like it. I am happy with it. But um, I think when I when I set out with an idea in mind and it doesn't end up exactly as I, as I intended, I guess I feel a bit of disappointment. So although I think I, I'm happy with the painting as it is, it's not actually as I intended. Um, pretty obviously when you add red and white together, it makes pink. So I've lost a lot of the red. You haven't, you've got a little bit of red there um, at the center, but it's mixed. So you've got, especially towards the edges, a lot of pinky color. It, there's pinky and there's almost like a salmon-y um, pink as well, which is obviously where the um, orange has mixed. Um, I love the way it fades. So I love these lines through the black, these really subtle lines. So they're just like sun rays, beams of sunlight. Really pleased with that. Um, the cells around the edge, I'm really happy with. Look how neat and small and round and um, they're brilliant. But when you go nearer the center, can you see that they distort a little bit? And I think that must be because the, the red and the orange paint's a bit runnier, so they've lost their form. It works really well. It's, I guess I am criticizing it, but it, it, but it still works um, because of the flow of the painting. Um, so it'll be so interesting when this is dry to see what, to see how this turns out. It's not what I wanted. It's not how I wanted this to be, um, but it works. Um, so I will be back when it's dry. So here it is dry. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it. Um, as I said earlier, it's not what I wanted at all, um, but I really, really like it. Um, let me take you in for a close up. There's quite a few things to, to talk about. Um, so the the central part to start with, um, which I guess is the moon, if it's an eclipse of the sun, um, the moon over the sun, um, I've sharpened up the edge there. Um, so I've repainted it and I've also painted, this was a little bit uneven here, so I've repainted the black and, and done some sort of um, circular brush strokes to try and give it a round effect. Um, the cells are gorgeous. Um, I've decided I really like the fact that you've got these quite irregular cells and then they go out to these quite neat cells because in the centre where it's hottest, it's going, it's almost a bit like lava. It's quite um, fluid and then it, and then it um, fades towards the, the rounder cells. Um, I've added, can you see here and here I've added a little bit of gold marker pen um gold um um pen on it because I decided that the it was a bit too stark the contrast between the the color and the black so I've just sort of softened it slightly um look how this has dried it's so shimmery um I really like the pale colors over the over the black I think it looks really pretty just look at the cells I mean that I just I'm just amazed the, or lacing there, lacing over it. 
um, and the colours, can you see how shiny that is? Um, so it's it's just, uh, yeah, you can see some of the orange, the iridescent orange there, and the gold. Um, it's really, really pretty. And I really like this quite white, thick band around the, around the centre. Um, the swipe went over the edges as well, very subtly, um, but I really like that. I'm really pleased with that, and down um, this edge here. Um, so let me know what you think. It's it's quite different. Um, it's not an iris. It's definitely um, a sun eclipse, a solar eclipse this time. Um, please let me know what you think. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. Um, and if you like the painting, please do give it a, good, a big thumbs up. Click the thumbs up button. Great. Take care, everybody. Bye.